Hello, and so you've made it to the final day of the seven day mindset challenge. And probably it took a little bit of mindset work to make it all the way through seven days of the challenge, especially as the last two days happened on a Saturday and Sunday. But you're here now, it's the final day. Well done you, because I know how difficult it can be when you're running a busy business to log in with regularity and do things like seven day challenges. Um, I do it myself with some of the coaching programs I am on. So, And also it's difficult enough, me man remembering sometimes to log in every day and do the videos and um, uh, keep the, the momentum rolling. So we've done it seven days. So I just wanted to finish on one more final mindset topic that is very close to my heart and I'll explain why. So this particular day is called passion versus any other business. What I see a lot of modern day business owners doing is um, a very small, I mean that doesn't look small because it's not relative to anything yet, but a very small amount of the stuff that they are deeply passionate about. So for me, that's coaching. But what their AOB box looks like, and imagine these boxes are um, a picture of time, for example. That, and I see pretty much every business owner spending loads of time in their AOB box, doing bookkeeping, accounting, marketing, networking events, driving between events, uh, training, socializing, having lunches, writing proposals, you know, I'm talking about all of the stuff of the three pillars. So you have marketing, sales and delivery. Really, most people spend a tiny proportion of their time in the passion box, delivering the thing which they love. And loads of time doing everything else in their business. And ultimately, where we want to get to with our businesses is that we spend all of our time doing the stuff we're passionate about and a tiny amount of time doing the any other business stuff. So if you think about, uh, well, I'll, the way I'll put it to you is that I managed to construct my business. Now, don't get me wrong. I have any other business to do like just like everybody else does, but um, I try and minimize it as best I possibly can. But focusing on the three core pillars, marketing, sales and delivery. When I'm speaking, I'm coaching. When I'm doing consultations, I'm coaching. And when I'm coaching, I'm coaching. Kind of goes without saying. I have a fourth pillar, which is about personal self-development. Basically means I'm being coached. Now, does anybody notice that everything on my three or four core pillars is all about the thing that I am passionate about? Coaching. Being coached, coaching, coaching groups, people, coaching one person, doesn't matter to me. I'm at my happiest, my most content place, when I'm coaching. And basically how I then manage this AOB box. Now my AOB box could be, it could be this big passion box and this big AOB box, but it's not at all because I put so little importance on things like bookkeeping and stuff like, and, and accounts and admin and marketing and stuff like that. I mean, marketing is obviously important. But little importance in so much that I can either give it to somebody else. So that's the first thing that we can do is outsource. I automate a lot of stuff. So somebody said about me using Typeform and Acuity and things like that to book people onto my consultations once they've registered their interest. They said that's not a very personal approach. And I said, so what about my consultations then? And they went, ah because the consultations are then the 90 minutes where I get to sit down with somebody, get to know them, get to build their trust up, get to work on that relationship and show them what I'm worth. Why do I need to build a relationship by doing a bit of fact finding in, a, in an assessment form? Why do I need to build a relationship by getting on the phone and say, when are you free? Like, when's your diary free? Why can't I just do that through Acuity? Now, it works for me. Again, it, it depends on, on what you're doing. So we can outsource it, we can automate it, or we can take on, and this is similar to outsourcing, but we can take on staff to do some of that work for us. So my awesome assistant, Sarah, um, does a huge amount of the work in terms of like preparing these seven day challenges. So getting the videos online, getting the worksheets prepared and stuff like that. So I, I do this, this is my version of the worksheets. She then goes away and turns it into a nicely formatted Word document for me. 
she posts books up for me so I don't have to worry about doing those. Why should I be posting books? It falls into the AB category. I want people to read the books, but I don't want to have to bother posting them myself. Um, I've got Typeform, I've got Acuity set up. I use MailChimp to automate a lot, so I do SMS marketing rather than traditional marketing. So there's lots of interesting stuff going on there. But my AOB box, it's my job to make that as small as I possibly can and then spend all of my time doing this. And the reason for that is it's the passion box which basically makes us money. This stuff makes us zero pounds. This box here, if we spend more time doing what we're passionate about, will end up making us money. And this bit still makes us nothing. In fact, now, now it probably costs me a few quid. So what we want to do is make spend loads of time here, doing the stuff we love, hopefully making some money in the process, do as little of the AOB stuff as we can, um, and even if we do have to pay for it, it still costs me less to outsource and automate this AOB stuff than it does than the money I'm making. So if my if I was only making ten pound an hour, this stuff wouldn't make sense to me, which is why you reach that point, that tipping point, whereby your income needs to get to a certain point where you can start to afford to do more stuff generally means that if you can't afford to do this stuff, you're not charging enough for the work you're doing, especially if you're spending a lot of time delivering it. So I want you to think about the stuff that you're passionate about, the um, how much time you spend doing that, and then um, how, many, how many things you've got in your AOB box that you can then potentially outsource. So that's in the worksheet. Go and download the worksheet. Congratulations, we've now completed day seven of the seven day mindset challenge. Hopefully I've totally changed your mind. Is that, no, that's not the right. I've, I've shifted your mindset from one place to another. I've changed the perceptions of your business. Um, I've moved you into a place where you are a little bit more fearless and you're fearing elements of your business less. And um, I look forward to seeing how you take that energy and move it forward. So thanks so much, guys, for um, taking the time out of your busy days to do the seven day challenges. I thoroughly enjoy doing them. I really, really hope you do too. Um, I've got a plan for the next one. I'm not going to give the game away yet, but it's going to be equally as fun. Uh, that takes us into October and November, and then I think we should have a Christmas challenge, uh, which is basically just um, let's all meet up uh, for Christmas. I can't believe I'm talking about Christmas already. Goodness. Oh, roll on Christmas. Do you know what? Why not? Roll on Christmas. I can't wait for turkey and beer and parties and all sorts of fun stuff like that and the girls happy smiley faces when they open their presents up and all sorts of fun like that. Why shouldn't we mention Christmas in October, hey? This is the seven day mindset challenge after all. Why not? Let's spend more time doing that guys. Let's spend more time in our passion boxes doing the stuff that we love doing, hey?